evening of Friday, November 3rd, the Lake Orion Dragons hosted the Clarkston Wolves for the Division I district title. The Dragons beat the Wolves earlier in the season 42-21 to claim the OAA Red Division title. Could they do it again in the playoffs? On Lake Orion's first drive of the game, the Dragons have a second and two on the 28th. Quarterback T.R. Hill is in shotgun. He hands off to Billy Robertson, who goes 20 yards before fumbling at midfield. It's recovered by sophomore Lucas Bowman, and the Wolves begin their drive on the own 45. Clarkston has a second and goal at the six. Senior Desmond Stevens, the second, is in Wildcat. He takes a snap, tucks it away, goes wide left and in for the score. The Eddie Langton PAT was good, and the Wolves strike first, 7 0 with 5.30 left in the first. Following the score, Clarkston kicks off. Ray Payne fields it at the five and finds a lane. He returns it all the way to the 46 yard line. Then on third and four at the 50, Hill is in shotgun. He hits Dominic Novak in the flat and he breaks a tackle. He's taken down on the Wolves 20. On second and 12 from the 20, Hill is in shotgun. He keeps it, shakes a tackle and reaches the five yard line. On second and goal from the two, Hill hands off to Billy Robertson, who plunges into the end zone. The Hoffman PAT was good, and the Dragons tie things up at seven apiece with two minutes left in the first. During the ensuing Clarkston drive, the Wolves are facing a fourth and 11 on the Dragons 32 and decide to go for it. Sophomore quarterback Brady Collins is in shotgun. He takes the snap, and he's picked off at the 18th by Jackson Vasquez. On third and one, on the Dragons 38, Hill hands off to Billy Robertson, who finds a hole with Ray Payne leading the way. Robertson is knocked out of bounds at the five yard line for a gain of 57 yards. Then on second and goal at the five, Hill keeps it, goes up the middle and just reaches over the goal line for the TD. The PAT was good, Lake Orion 14, Clarkston seven, and that's how the first half would end. Both teams kicked a field goal in the third quarter to make the score 17-10. Let's go to the fourth quarter and hold on to your hats, folks. Clarkston is facing a third and six on the Dragons 23. Collins is in shotgun. Stevens goes in motion. Collins fakes the handoff, keeps it, and races untouched to the end zone for the TD. The PAT was good, and the score is tied up at 17 apiece with under nine minutes left in the game. Following the kickoff, the Dragons begin to drive on their own 33. On first and 10, on the Wolves 33, Hill is in shotgun. He hands off to Robertson, who goes up the middle and breaks loose 33 yards into the end zone. The PAT was good, and the Dragons regain the lead 24-17 with 6.44 remaining. Clarkston begins their next drive on the 20. On first and 10, Collins fields the low snap, and he's picked off by Andrew Parker, who returns it to the house. A pick six. Following the PAT, the Dragons are up by 14, with 6.36 left in the game. The Wolves begin their next drive on their own 20. Following costly penalties on both sides of the ball, the Wolves are facing a third and 10 on the Dragons 27. Collins hits six foot six Brody Cozens, who just barely gets the first down on first and 10 from the 18. Collins takes the snap, rolls right and hits his target. Colin Cortman for the score. Clarkston decides to go for the two point conversion. Collins hands off to Stevens. It's a reverse. Brady Beck pulls up and throws a pass to a wide open Collins, the Philly special. The successful conversion pulls Clarkston within six points with just under four minutes left in the game. Following the score, Clarkston kicks off. Robertson fields it at the 30. He turns it outside, outruns defenders, and with Payne and Smith throwing blocks, he finds the end zone. A 70-yard return for six points. Lake Orion goes for two to try to extend their lead to 14 points, but it's no good. Lake Orion 37, Clarkson 25, with 3.45 left. The Wolves begin their next drive on the own 20. Collins is in shotgun. He drops back and hits Cozen at the 45. He shakes the defender and goes the distance. One play, 80 yards, and just like that, Lake Orion's lead is cut down to five points with 3.34 left. Following the score, the Wolves line up for an onside kick. 
It takes a Clarkston hop and it's recovered by the Wolves. Number 15, Lucas Bowman secures it at the 47. Unbelievable. With Clarkston facing a fourth and 16 on their own 48. Dragons defense can end it here. Collins is in shotgun. The Dragons apply pressure. He's hit as he throws, but it's caught. Desmond Stevens at the 30 for the first down. Then with under two minutes left in the game, the Wolves are facing another fourth and long, fourth and 22 to be exact, on Lake Orient's 41. Collins takes the snap, goes deep, and the big man, Cozen, pulls it down at the 10 to keep the drive alive. On second and goal from the six, with under a minute left, Collins hands off to Griffin Bowman. He lunges forward and he's in the end zone for the score. The two-point conversion was no good, but the Wolves are on top, 38-37. The Dragons have 48 seconds and no timeouts to try to get into field goal range. The Dragons begin the drive on their own 35. On first and 10 on Clarkston's 44, Hill takes the snap, rolls left, he's hit as he throws and he's picked off at the 40 by Griffin Bowman. Game over, the final. Clarkston 38, Lake Orion 37. What a game. With the win, Clarkston claims the Division I district title and celebrates on the field. The Wolves advance to face the West Bloomfield Lakers on November 10th. Kickoff is at 7 p.m. From Dragon Stadium, this is Joe Johnson reporting for ONTV News.